Definitivamente que hay un cambio en, en Definitely, la there is a change in the freedom of the press and information since the time of the military. That I lived as a political leader and a deputy before 1989. At that time, there was no freedom of the press. When conducting a radio program during 1989 elections, I bet with a journalist of Univision that if I told Noriega Pineapple Face the radio program I conducted, my program would be closed in the morning. And this happened. I said, opposition candidate Andara is called Sweetheart, but nobody can call Noriega Pineapple Face. And this happened. At 10 a.m. that day, my radio program was closed. After that, things improved a lot, and there was full freedom of speech. Nowadays, I would say that in recent years, freedom of speech in Panama has changed. Eh, más vale proteger a un posible anunciante que causarle molestias en un eh, medio de comunicación. Eh, el diario de la prensa. The newspaper, el que yo la prensa, a fundar, the one I helped found, whose journalists were que, defended by me, escribí, where I wrote for allí, many years, is a newspaper que, that, because of personal animosity against me, forbids me to write me in its columns. Any news that I produce in the community, they just simply block it. We are experienced a freedom of the press highly conditioned to the interest of the media and in particular cases such as mine to the personal relationship that I may create before a specific executive or, or a journalist in a newspaper such as La Prensa. In Ricardo Martinelli's government, definitely, there was persecution against media. I remember perfectly that while I was ambassador, of, I had a meeting in my residence with member of Inter-American Commission on Human Rights, where Álvaro Alvarado was participating on Channel 13, the best commentator in Panama, where he explained how President Martinelli sent to him death threats. I did it because I was a Panama representative, not Ricardo Martinelli's representative. I do not think it is correct that President Varela forbids his minister and senior officials to participate in Alvaro Alvarado program. I think that the one who loses is the country because it is the most important media and forbidding his minister is forbidding the citizen to listen to different versions from the, those heard on this program. That the majority are negative against the government because nobody defends him. I think that this policy is negative. I have understood that Show 2, a journalist, was dismissed, Berserai Richards, for his contrary opinions from President Varela. I do not think this type of policy are correct, perhaps because of my relationship with the owners, Channel 2, the family Mota, it is that Channel 2 ignores me, where I have programmed for 53 weeks every day, and once because of trying to speak of an issue of Copa, simply they just refrain me from conducting the program just because I could not talk of the airline owned by Mr. Mota.